Today in Apple Motion, I'm gonna show you five built-in effects that will absolutely melt your mind. Just to go along with the theme of melting your mind, I have this super cringy photo of me with my mind about to get melted. We are just gonna select that, go on up to filters, and the first effect can be found under the stylized panel and it's called Relief. And right now you can see why Relief is so crazy. It's pulling out the pixels according to their luminosity and almost stretching it in 3D space. It's really, really a cool effect. You can see how my eyes look kind of 3D. So if I take the back size and shrink it way down, now I kind of look like a genie in a bottle getting sucked up or something like that. It's just a bizarre effect that I have a ton of fun with. I'm trying to find the ultimate purpose for it, but um, I thought it would be really fun to show you here on the channel. The next effect is much more simple, but it is still a very good one, and that is light rays. If we go on up into our filters, we can go down to glow, and I'll select light rays. Now all I need to do is drag up the amount and you can see how it's taking the brightest parts of the image and actually stretching them out. It looks really cool and 3D. Something that I like to do is actually take a top layer, I'll push K to create a clone layer and I'll apply this same effect and we'll select light rays. Then we can let that stretch way out just like so. Then all we need to do is with that top layer selected, we could set it to something like screen. And so now you still have the underlying layer where you can still see the buildings are completely clear, but you also have the really cool light rays effect on top. We could even go in here in the color options and select contrast and just drag up the contrast a bit so that you get more of the light rays and less of the surrounding glow. This next effect always reminds me of the really amazing Netflix show called Dark, and it's that intro where there's kind of that kaleidoscope effect. So with my shot selected, we'll go on up to filters, go down to tiling and find Kaleida tile. And with Kaleida tile, you can see that it has these on-screen controls. So I'm gonna just drag this out and you'll see that it's actually created this repeating tile effect of our shot. It's really, really cool looking. We can spin it around, get some really cool effects here. But something that's interesting is this effect can be used for more than just a cool looking stylized effect. It actually has some really practical uses. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete the Collide Tile effect. I'm gonna select this group and in the group settings, we're gonna set it to a fixed resolution. And currently it's set to 3840 by 2160. So that means it's a 4K group, which is perfect because my video layer here is actually only 1080p. So with the group at 4K, go on up to filters, go down to tiling and select Kaleida tile. Now we can set the width and height to 1920 by 1080. So what we've essentially done is we have replicated this 1080p layer to the surrounding area. So if I move this group around, you'll see how the edges actually repeat. There's a seam here and I'll show you how to get rid of that seam. But that means that we can apply stuff like handheld motion to this and the edges are going to repeat perfectly. So this can be really, really powerful if you are creating a transition and you wanna whip the camera over, but you don't wanna reveal that there are no other elements there. So I really like the Kaleida tile for actually a lot of practical uses. Now you'll notice that there are actually these seams on the edges and that's very easy to fix. We just need to cut back the width and height by two pixels. So it'll be 1918 by 1078. And now that we've done that, those edges are gone. We can still move around our object and those edges are going to be perfectly repeated. So really a powerful and practical tool that you might not expect. This next effect is just a really fun one. I love playing around with it. If we select our filters, we can go down to distortion and we are going to select tiny planet. And just like that, you can see we have this really fun looking effect. I just love how this looks. We could actually animate this on the Y rotation and kind of get it spinning around in circles like that. But we can also animate the Z rotation just like so. And now it kind of looks like we're looking out of this tunnel out at the city. But this can just be a really fun and trippy effect to use on your videos. Um, you could also change your field of view, which is actually very handy, so you could stretch it way out. So tons and tons of fun to have with this tiny planet effect. It's not one that I ever have a ton of practical uses for just yet, but I do really enjoy playing around with it and seeing what kind of cool stuff I can come up with. This last effect I love to use when I need a really cool looking background that has a lot of the similar colors as the foreground. So to get this effect, you're gonna to go to filters, go down to distortion, and we are going to locate the stripes effect. 
And just like that, you can see we have this really cool looking effect. It just matches whatever is going on in the scene. So this is why it's a really great background element. We can also set off the rotation like so, and now we kind of got this cool futuristic thing, but it's just always gonna match whatever you apply it to. So that's why I really love it. You could also drag down the mix amount if you wanted to, and you could use it almost as a light leak or something like that. So it definitely has some fun uses to it. I don't get to use it all that often, but when I do, I'm really happy with the results. So that was five effects that will absolutely melt your mind in Apple Motion. Now, I do have a plugin where I've actually published all of these over into Final Cut Pro, so you don't need to jump into Motion when you want to use these effects. If you want to pick that up, there's a link down below to my Motion Tools plugin. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.